All right, well, there's been a recent surge of interest in the new social app, Blue Sky, and it is a Twitter clone similar to obviously Twitter and now competing with Mastodon. It's decentralized, uh, federated like Mastodon, but has some unique attributes that I'll get into. And uh, folks have lots of questions about it. How do you get an invite? What does it look like? I'm gonna do a quick tour right now. Uh, it has lots of similarities to both Twitter and Mastodon with some key differences. This is what the app looks like. It is quite similar to Twitter. Here's my main feed here. I can scroll through different posts and I can like a post. I can repost a post or quote post a post and I can reply. In my feed here, I have, you'll see, I can have a feed of people I'm following, but also a what's hot feed where I can browse all of the popular posts on Blue Sky right now. There's a notifications tab where I can browse people who have mentioned me, people who have replied to me, people who have just followed me. And this is what my profile looks like, very similar to Twitter, and it has my follower count, who I'm following, little bio, and then my posts, and then my replies to other people's posts. It also has pretty good search. So if you search for Nintendo, you'll get posts that match that keyword. Uh, and this is a big difference from Mastodon, which doesn't really have good search right now. Maybe as a, maybe I'll quickly just show you, this is what Twitter looks like, right? So it's very similar to Twitter. Uh, no DMs yet, but it's similar in that you can search for, you know, keywords and you'll get actual tweets that match that keyword. And you can even, if you want to, on Twitter, you can filter uh, by, you know, just show me people that I follow who have mentioned the word, in this case, Nintendo. And maybe I'll quickly just show you what Mastodon looks like. I think this is what ended up hurting Mastodon is folks were really confused about which server they were supposed to choose. And uh, there was a lot of anxiety around that. Blue Sky does away with that completely. When you sign up, most people just get the blue sky dot social namespace you'll notice I've verified my domain justinjackson.ca and now that's my username here on blue sky which is also very cool but yeah I think there is a few things that turned people off of Mastodon and anxiety around choosing servers is one the other big difference I've noticed is that the even though there's some great third-party apps for Mastodon like ivory um, the Blue Sky app is lightning fast. It's very, very fast. And I'm not the only person to notice this. Lots of folks noticing just the performance of the app is lightning quick. So the team's done a good job of that. Now, a lot of folks don't realize this, but there is a web app for Blue Sky in beta. You can find it at staging.bsky.app and it is also lightning fast and I actually enjoy using it a lot more than even the mobile app. Um, again, you can search for topics and you'll get usernames that match that topic, but also you'll be able to see posts that match that topic. And this is something that hurt Mastodon. Um, I mean, even look at the web app. There's all this confusion on the right-hand side, local, federated, what does that mean? And when you search for a topic like Nintendo, Mastodon doesn't do a good job of matching keywords with text in posts. Search is really broken. The only way you can really find a topic or people that are into a topic is by following hashtags. And unfortunately, there's been a lot of spam in these hashtags on Mastodon. So the Blue Sky web app just feels great. Now I mentioned that on Blue Sky, you can change your username. I've changed mine to justinjackson.ca, which is my domain. And the way that you do that is over here in settings, you can click change my handle, select I have my own domain, and then 
if you own a domain, for example, I have megamaker.co, I could make at megamaker.co my username. And you just have to verify this with your domain registrar. So in my case, I went over to Hover and I added this TXT record to Hover and I was able to add justinjackson.ca and have a custom username here, which is really, really cool. A lot of people wanna know, how do you get an invite? Well, you'll see over here on the right, I have zero invite codes left. I've, I've handed them all out. And uh, here, Emily, who's on the Blue Sky team, says invite codes. Each user gets one invite code for every two weeks they're on the app. So if you're waiting for an invite code or you really wanna check it out, um, that's how they're being handed out. You gotta wait for your friend to have been on the app for two weeks before they get an invite code. Uh, the other thing that I would like to see on Blue Sky is an easy way to find your people. So users are resorting to things like this where I have a Google Sheet and a list of everybody who's into bootstrapping, uh, self-funded startups, that kind of thing. And in my case, I just have a Google form that people can fill out and add their username to. And then what I'm doing is I'm just putting these side by side and I'm copying and pasting the username into the web app and then finding people I can follow who are into the topics I'm interested in. In the future, it would be great if there was a easy way to create groups or social groups that are interested in particular topics. Uh, the Blue Sky team has been very clear that they're not going to add hashtags. So um, there needs to be another kind of way of organizing folks around particular topics. Right now, you can search for a keyword, but that's really it. So if you're really into uh, snowboarding, you can search for that keyword and then try to find you know, other people who are interested in that topic. But uh, one thing that I think, it's not perfect, but on Mastodon, you can at least, you know, search for a hashtag and then find a group of people that are interested in the same thing. Again, there's a spam problem there that maybe Blue Sky will have a solution for. So I think that's it. That's kind of an overview of how Blue Sky works, how you get invite codes, how it's different than Twitter and Mastodon. There does seem to be this surge of interest right now. And um, when as people are looking for a Twitter alternative, and it does seem like a lot of folks are migrating, and it does seem like a lot of folks are saying goodbye to Twitter. And when they're choosing between Mastodon and Blue Sky, Blue Sky seems to be winning lately, just a lot more interest. Maybe it's the FOMO of people wanting invite codes and there's all this interest now. Um, so it'll be interesting to see how this plays out. If you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments.